get a little bit of it, put it on this, and then I add an extender. Yes. So this is just yeah. So yeah. what is what is the extender? What is in this? The the extender is so we make it ourselves. So it's yeah. it's it's called we call it trelladol, but trelladol is actually just one of the um, uh, components, one of the ingredients. Okay. But it's mostly made out of egg yolks. Hello guys, um, I wish I could say it's a bright and sunny day here, but it's not. <laughs> it is not. I'm wearing a lot of shirts. So it's a very cold morning here in Pretoria and this is day two of our trip. Um, the itinerary for today is going to begin with a trip to an artificial insemination center for goats. Um, somewhere, somewhere here. So stay tuned, but all is well. Um, a recap of yesterday, we visited farms, so I got to see for myself what goes into the selection of the breeds we bring into West Africa. And guys, it is not easy. The prices, <laughs> even here in their local land or their indigenous space, let me put it that way. Um, yeah, so this time around, we're expecting Savannah. It's been a while, you know, it's been a while. We're expecting Savannah. Uh, of course, some majestic boa goats as well. And we are just learning a lot, a lot, a lot. Um, it's interesting interacting with some of the farmers and knowing how they even operate we have been talking a lot about the five pillars of uh, livestock agribusiness and to see for yourself how other farmers are incorporating these five pillars into their operations it's amazing just like i learned yesterday from a farmer as a farmer you should do what works for you yes you know your animals best and for me that was like a good takeaway so we are about to head out and it's cold. <laughs> we are about to head out. So stay tuned. I'm going to keep you updated. And you know that we have actually um, started the project of artificial insemination back home. We have gotten our nitrogen tanks, guys. Yes, 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 yes. Um, we've already started semen collection. So we've gotten a great hang over that. Yes. Um, so I think for today, we are just going to get more knowledge. We're going to learn more so that when we go back home we don't make mistakes we can't afford to make mistakes this is an expensive project so hopefully i'll be able to take you around when i get to the center but for now i just wanted you to see how things are going and yeah we shall see you very soon when we get to the ai center for the goats my pig people, you haven't been forgotten. You are solidly on the itinerary, okay? So this is day two once again of the trip. And I'm Nadia. I would see my boss Fred in a minute as we embark on today's trip. Hi guys, so I've already told you about today. Fred is finally here. Yeah. You see how he's dressed? <laughs> But Fred, I understand we have a trip to an AI center and we have already embarked on that project. So what should we expect today? Um, today mm -hmm. we're going to just verify what we are doing. Okay. Um, it's always, you know, these guys have been doing it for hundreds of years. Mm -hmm. So we want to go and see mm -hmm. what they are doing, how different is it from what we are doing. Okay. And, um, yeah, you know, it's always good to learn. So we're going to just go and learn. And so it's a learning what, day today. Yeah, yeah, it's a learning day. Okay. See what, um, what you're doing. Okay. Um, but one tricky thing that honestly we want to learn is how to store the semen. Okay. Because, you okay. know, we are able to tap, we are able to insert mm -hmm. and all of it. Yeah. We haven't started storing yet. So yeah. So we're going to go and see that we can store. Okay. And once we can store it, then mm -hmm. we can be able to supply you guys as All well. Right. So our ride just got here. Guys, our Uber just got here. So see ya. Bye-bye. Hi guys. So we just got to the artificial insemination center. Um, they are great on anything livestock, goats, sheep, um, cattle. Apparently they do auctions here as well. And because they are selective about the, the, the semen or the traits they are looking out for, everything here is quality, I can assure you of that.
it on this and then I add an extender. Yes, so this is just the yeah. So what is what is the extender? What is in this? The the extender is so we make it ourselves, so it's okay. it's it's called we call it trilidol, but trilidol is actually just one of the um, component one of the ingredients okay. but it's mostly made out of egg yolks I think you. yes okay. so what happens if I don't have add an extender to this and I just put a spam here and put it here you can you can you, you're not going to see much you're not going to see yeah, much let's just put this in my pocket we can look at it like that it's not going to you're, you're not going to be able you can maybe if it works for you fine but um the drop is that's yeah, thick. So that's thick and yeah, okay. and you're not really going to get a, a good idea of how the semen looks. Hi, Fred. Yes. So uh, it's been a pretty intensive uh, class yeah. <laughs> this this cold morning, yes. and we've ended up at where they actually collect the semen. Yeah. But in a nutshell, I know you're a very good student. <laughs> in a nutshell, just walk us through because with what I observed, mm, you, you need to give us a recap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, it was very intense, but mm -hmm. we had a good teacher. Uh, I just want you guys to also know that we are not veterinary officers. We yeah. are no alliances. We are just learning the practical. And yeah. the same way the teacher said, she's also not a vet, but she's learned. She's not a licensed vet, but she's learned. That means that we cannot learn and no. So where we are standing is where the semen is basically collected and we do this as well at our farm. So we want to get to the next step which we are able to collect semen and do fresh artificial insemination. But now that is not enough because then if you lose your male that means that you don't have semen. So in order for us to protect that male, we need to collect enough of its semen and store it so that right, so that we can have it even when the male is not around. In order to do that, that's why we went through this lesson. So collecting the semen, you know, testing it to make sure that the sperms of a, you know, 26 million cells are all active. Once you're done, you need to dilute it. You need to now uh, put it in a uh, water bath to keep it at a certain temperature. Then from there, you need to come up, you need to add um, a, a, a liquid, I think it's called flash, whatever. Forget about the details, but it's just very intense. I have it all recorded. Then you take it in there, then you also put it into another machine to spin it. Then you have to test it again to make sure you lose, you lose about at least maybe 15% of it. So you have to do the calculation and take that 15% out. Then you test it again and make sure it's working. Once it's done, you put it into the tube, you seal it, then you put it into the fridge um, and you fridge it for, I think, four to five um, degrees. Then from there, you now take it into a nitrogen box. You keep it in there. And before you take it into the nitrogen tank, you guys, I know I'm confusing you. I know it doesn't make sense. I also need to sit down and sing this in, but I have everything recorded. We're writing everything down. We've already bought a lot of the instruments and tools that we need. Um, so we're gonna take it to the next step, which is from AI with fresh cement to AI with cold cement. We call it the cold cement, then we can spread it and travel to your farm and be able to do it for you. But if you look at this goal, right? This is such a huge and quality goat. If you have this goat at your farm and you're getting the fresh cement, right? What if something happens to this goat and it's not there tomorrow? Then you've lost all the cement this goat has. And that's why we need to be able to store it so that even if this goat doesn't exist tomorrow, we have its cements and we can still make use of it, right? So that's what we are doing here. I hope you guys um, enjoyed it. It's not the most um, nicest um, experience, but it's very productive and informative. And um, we continue to bring you nothing but the best in revolutionizing the livestock industry in Africa. So we'll continue to bring you the best. <laughs> nothing but the best, I can assure you. And yes, the, the whole process is a bit technical, but hey, that's why we are here to learn. And with time, we'll break it down for you guys as well. It's been a very learning failed day so far yes and um we would, we would see you again just stay tuned